Hello again, YouTubes. This is Beanie Bum, and happy Friday. Uh, this week was pretty eventful for me, because if you do not do the following on the uh, Facebook, or not Facebook, <laughs> if you don't follow me on Twitter, uh, you wouldn't know that I went on vacation. Um, I went to my parents' wedding, and I went to Paradise Point, and um, the Grand Del Mar. Uh, for five days, and that's why there haven't been any videos, but there probably wouldn't have been any videos otherwise because I got a lot of homework. Oh, but that's besides the point. Um, uh, so yeah, that was real nice. I was gonna upload a video about it, but I, um, forgot to bring my camera import thingamajig. Brought my camera, but I didn't bring the USB wire. So, that was bad. But, anyways, that out of the way, I would like to talk about something. Um, me and my mom were just talking about it, and that's why the title is Humans. We were talking about, like, humans, pretty much. Like, how some of us take advantage of the fact that we're a human, and some of us don't. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. Alrighty, so, um, oh, this isn't scripted, by the way. I'm just talking free-flowing, like a, like a, like I'm glowing with my rhymes. There is no time. I'm, I'm not a rapper. Um, <laughs> but that's it. That is so if I stumble or anything, that's why because this isn't scripted. Okay, anyways, back to the story. So, um, after school, my mom was coming to pick me up because my house is like oh, pretty, pretty far a bit away, and I like getting picked up, and they have time to do it, so they do it. Um, <laughs> so she's picking me up, right? And then there, my school pickup zone, it's like a one. There's actually two lanes, but they block off one lane for absolutely no reason with cones. So she has to go the one lane that isn't blocked off. And it's a, a one-way street. So, like, you go in one side and go out the other side, and there's absolutely no way you could go backwards at all. Um, but this guy, uh, I'm pretty sure he was a student there, like a senior, because all the seniors at my school... Well, for that matter, I guess all the people at my school think that they're just the coolest people and the most poor people in the world. But anyway, so he was um, facing the wrong way and blocking the entire path off, and that was the only path we could go on. Um, and <laughs> he had this huge white truck, uh, so and he was blocking my mom and this other person from leaving the school. So he, he, he my mom told him to back up, right, because she has a nice convertible. Because she has to look very formal for her business stuff. She does real estate. And um, she, she was telling him to back up. His windows were down. And he just had this really stupid look on his face. As if, like, um, like sort of like the same look if you, you, you would give to someone that spoke a completely different language that isn't even, like, on Earth. And it's nothing you would have he heard before. He had that sort of look on his face, but a lot more stupid. Um, <laughs> and he was just sitting there, and she told him to back up for, like, a good five minutes. So she finally got out of the car, she was like, back the F up, and he was just, like, sitting there. Just sitting there. And, oh, okay, I'll get, I'll get, get to that part later. Um, so my mom went back in the car, and, and the reason why he was doing this is because his little group, his, his group of homies, his YOLO swaggers, um, they were all sitting there laughing, so they thought it was funny. So... She got back in the car, and he did this really horrible impression of someone who would have been, like, fake crying. Like, you know, that whole, type sound uh, about, like, I go this way every day, but that's physically impossible, because if he were to go that way, his car would get completely destroyed by the oncoming traffic at the outside of the school because of the one-way zone. Um, okay, so now the thing I was about to say. The best part about it is that there was a security guard standing there with the the scrub dubs scrubby scrub friends scrub sandwich friends laughing with them he was a security guard he wasn't doing anything at all um and the the there was one kid there that was trying to help us uh he was pointing out to the dude who the the scrub dubs um who was blocking the way in his car acting stupid trying to be funny um, he, he pointed out that the vice principal was driving along, and he was, with his window down, and he was looking at the person blocking the whole lane, because it's pretty obvious he was in a giant white car and facing the wrong way. Um, and the vice principal 
just kept driving. He just looked and drove. And that led me to, me to start talking to my mom about the, the kids and the employees at my school because I really hate my school, like with a passion. Like I would do anything to go to a different school. I am sorry, friends who at my school, Yosh and Estevan and Daniel, if you're watching this, um, and Twee and all those other amigos, um, but <laughs> I, I, I would want you guys to come with me, but my school is just horrible. Every single employee at that school is just like the security guard and the vice principal, and they think they have the authority to disrespect you if you're doing something that you didn't even know was, like, wrong or something that they don't like. Like, uh, a good, this is probably gonna be a really long video, by the way, so sit, sit, sit with me here. Um, but an example of how employees at my school are stupid and disrespectful is um, my friends and I during lunch were being a little bit loud because we were like laughing and stuff and there was some loud music playing at lunch because my school plays music during lunch. Which is the only cool aspect about it, but they play bad music, so that's kind of lame. Um, <laughs> but we, we were being a little loud and this dude, this teacher in the room next to us, and that room is always empty during lunch. He was... Um, helping this other student with tutoring and he came out and it was like hey you guys be quiet I'm working in here I'll move you somewhere else and it, like we didn't even know that he was in there and it was during lunch and his door was open so he could have just closed the door but if he didn't want to do that which he obviously didn't want to because he likes thinking that he has I guess authority I'll use that word again. He, he likes thinking that he has authority over people just because they happen to be in a complex that he uh, that he works at. It's like mall cops. Um, what was I saying again? Ah, oh, crap. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I trail on too much and I forget what I was talking about. Anyways, um, but he could have just come out and said, like, hey, could you guys please be quiet? I am tutoring someone. But he just came out and was, like, super disrespectful. And, like, the hypocrisy that I was talking about with this whole security guard thing, um, that happens with all the employees here, too. Like, the, the f first, like, two or first week or so I was at this school in the ninth grade, I'm nearing the end of the tenth grade now. Um, <clears throat> this girl, uh, my friends and I call her the Horker now. <laughs> like, you know, the walrus from Skyrim. Because she's fat and ugly, just like the Horkers. Um, <laughs> No offense to any large people out of there, by the way. Um, but she came to me, right? And she was like, take off your... Oh, yeah, I forgot. I was wearing a beanie. Of course, a beanie bomb. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? I always wear it. It's not just a video thing. Um, but I was wearing it. And apparently you're not allowed to wear beanies there, so the school can make more money because you can wear the ones that they sell that are $15, so they're like the EA of schooling systems. Um, but she came up to me. And she was like, take off your beanie. You know you're not what you'll be wearing yet. And I had absolutely no idea because it was my first day, or not my first day, but it was like my first couple of weeks there. And I would wear my beanie and nobody said anything about it. Um, but I was walking past, to continue my whole hypocrisy story, I, I was walking past her and this group of seniors that were all wearing different various styles of hats that weren't the Gabrielino hats. Gabrielino is the name of my school, so if you live in the area in which you would go there, don't. Um, <laughs> they're all wearing hats and sunglasses, which you're not allowed to wear for some reason. Um, she just smiled and waved at them, and they smiled and waved back. And those seniors... They were just like the senior kid that was doing the stupid thing with the blocking of the stuff. Um, so, you know, I've been thinking about why it's been, like, so bad. And, and, and like, why people have been so, I guess, selfish and, like, mean and rude. And it's it's been happening, a, happening I've been noticing it a lot more. And I think it's because, uh, because there's this thing called, um behavioral evolution and there's this theory that wh uh, why babies cry is w when parents put them down is because back in the old day um like really old like 
sort of when humans lived in cages, uh, cages, caves, I mean caves, um, and when the parents would put the baby down, the baby would get eaten if it didn't cry. But if it cried, the parents would pick the baby up, right? And then if the parents had taken care of the baby, then it wouldn't get eaten because like they, they'd, they'd have some sort of defense. They'd have someone taking care of them. And the parents could run away from the wolves or kill the wolves or whatever other animal that there was. Um, so I think that why humans are like doing this behavioral evolution in which we're going backwards. We are not taking advantage of the fact that we are humans. And that, that's what I was saying, because we are acting more animalistic, I think, as time goes on. And this could be happening all the time, and I could just be noticing it recently. Um, but, like, you just think about it. Bullies, for an example. They're just like wolves. They have a tribe. They, they, they have a... Usually, this is, this is the usual thing. This is what happens, like... Whenever I see it, like in movies or when I was getting bullied, which I didn't stand for, so they stopped. And there's a way I'll tell you about how, if I can remember, god dang it, <laughs> how to stop getting bullied. Um, usually works sometimes. Works. Uh, but like, they have this little tribe, and they pick on other people to represent that they're like tribe leader. Blah, 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 leader. Uh, this isn't scripted, I'm sorry. <laughs> so they, they like pick on us to prove that there's a tribe leader to give themselves more power, and that's very primitive. And then, like, with dads, some dads, like the, um, when their child, um, like if they were taking care and, like, really uh, tentative, I don't know the word, like, the, like they were really uh, paid a lot of attention to their kid uh, until it reached, like, uh, pu 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 puberty. I'm sorry, I'm getting twisted up here until they reach puberty they feel threatened so they stop like having contact with their kid which is very animalistic that's what happens in like the animal kingdom and stuff like that so like humans are some humans don't take advantage of being human if you if you, if you get me now um like all the all the, the the kids and the people that teachers and their parents they say you'll never amount to anything with that they just like live right and they don't like they just do what they have to do to survive they don't really care about anything they just be and um <clears throat> it that that just sort of that gets you the whole like mcdonald's worker and stuff like that um but like some humans like uh probably you who are listening right now because my viewers are awesome and like my family and my friends and i i, I guess me we, we take advantage of being human so we use our creative juices because we were cool, like we make music, we sing, we dance, we we do things that humans can do. Uh, like we, we, we be creative, you know? We like draw, humans are the only people that can do that. Like architects, they take advantage of being human, they build things. Um, people who invented baby food, they take advantage of being humans because, you know, so we don't have to like kiss feed. And kiss feeding is uh, when you feed your baby food at like a bird, you know, birds kiss feed. Uh, which is probably how kissing came to be. Because if you think about it, dogs lick to clean other dogs, and then the licking is also kissing for them. I don't know. That's something I was thinking about. But, like, we just, like, some humans don't take advantage of being human. So if you're watching this and you don't take advantage of being human, do it. <laughs> you don't have to, like, be super talented or draw or anything. Just, like, you know, be human, really. Uh, don't just be animalistic human, be creative, or not necessarily be creative, but just, you know, you know what I'm talking about, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of lost right now. Let's see, what else was I talking about with my mom? Um, I can't remember. Hmm. Well, this video just to go dark for the worst, but... <laughs> My bad. Well, I guess that's all I have to say, really. That's sort of the moral of the story. Just be human, you know. Don't don't be rude. Oh, that's right. That's what I was saying. Okay, so that's why. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry for that. Wait. Um, but that that's why. Uh, I'm guessing that's why people are getting so self-centered and stuff, right? Because if you, I don't know if this is just in my area, but I'm assuming it's all around the world because of like things I read and watch and stuff. People are rude. Some people are rude. And the people who are rude and very self-centered 
They're generally the people who don't take advantage of being human. If you, you know, if you guys find me. There is, of course, there are people who are rude and do take advantage of being human. That's just their personality and they're jerks. So they should really try and change that. But, like, if they just live and they just disrespect everything, then that, they're like, they don't, they don't take advantage of being human. They're very animalistic because, like, in the animal kingdom, um, <laughs> Most, not all, or I, I'll, I'll just say a majority of animals are, uh, they, they, they focus on taking care of themselves because it's your instinct to keep yourself alive and stuff like that. So they just, you know, they keep, they keep themselves alive. And that's what humans do too. That's like what the really rude humans are doing. Like at my school, pretty much every single student is just like the dude who is walking the road. Um, because they just live like I hold the door open for anyone who's behind me or anyone who's next to me or anyone who's like in front of me I hold the door open for them because I think it's nice and um, They say that everyone pretty much at my school Doesn't say anything to me. They just walk and then if I'm walking right behind someone They'll open the door and just walk and let it close on me um, <laughs> So they're very animalistic in that they only focus on themselves to keep them alive, you know? It's like instinctual, really. And that whole instinct thing, I was, you know, change topic, woo! <laughs> I was watching a video by the amazing atheist. If you people like him, cool. If you don't, then, oh well, this isn't about him. But it, it, it was about how the Boston Bummer Man, he, he, I can't pronounce his name, so I'm not even gonna try, but the one who's still alive. He has a fan base now, and <laughs> Most of the fan base are, not most, all of the fan base are people, and and I, this is mostly in my ge our generation because most you know you you probably are around my age I'm assuming, um, but this is mostly in the newer generations um, because that whole uh, uh, um, what's it called behavioral evolution about becoming more primitive that I was talking about. This is mostly in this human this generation they uh they look at him and they think he's attractive so they think he's not guilty um if i could find the tweet or the picture I'll, or if i remember to i'll put it up right now um but there was this girl who tweeted out that the boston bomber man couldn't possibly be guilty because he is too beautiful that that's that's exactly what she said or no probably not exactly what she said but that's that's along the lines of what she said um, <laughs> and it's really, it's really interesting to me because they, these type of people, these primitive people, they, they're focused on mating. That's the, um, that's the instinctual thing to do as an animal because of course humans are animals. Um, mates, you want to keep the population alive. That's just the nature of the animals. You know, we gotta, we gotta keep our population going. You want to mate. Um, so they'll just throw away any evidence that they get just because they want to mate with that person. <laughs> like Charles Manson has a bunch of love letters. Like, you know, that other dude who killed and raped the bunch of girls whose name I can't remember. Um, he has like, or had or stuff, like bunch of love letters and <laughs> fans pretty much because they're attractive, I guess. I'm not, uh, I'm not homosexual, so I wouldn't really consider them attractive, but like, I'd assume they were. Um, <laughs> so like, it's really, really kind of silly and interesting. I just think that we're going backwards if it wasn't always like this, that whole behavioral evolution thing, going backwards to be more primitive. Now that's not all of us, of course, as I was talking about, as I was saying, I mean, um, there are people and quite a bit of people, not, not, not quite a bit. There's, there's people who take advantage of being humans and that's the people who create things. That, that's the people who are cool. You know, that's the people you want to hang out with. That's the people who make jokes, the people, that's the cool people really. That's like, um, all the, the people on YouTube that you like watching. If you're an avid YouTube watcher, YouTuber. That's those people, and and the people on DeviantArt, that type of thing. Those people take advantage of being human. But if you don't take advantage of being human, 
then you typically this is what I've seen don't don't take my word for it but if pe the people who don't take advantage of being human are very very animalistic and instinctual like for example uh, you wouldn't really see a bully who goes around and like you know teases the smaller kids to make himself feel bigger and stuff like that you wouldn't really see him being a major opera singer or a greatly amazing artist because he's not taking advantage of being human so that way his primal instincts take over and he doesn't like really remember that he's a human he just considers himself as living he doesn't even think about that type of thing usually i'm 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 sure there's a bully that's like an artist but i don't know <laughs> that has to exist i think right uh, yeah but just just take advantage of being human that's that's all i'm trying to say really Okay, I think that's it. All right. <laughs> oh, well, if you like this video, please leave a like down below. I've been talking for a good 20 minutes now. So it's 30 seconds around there. I told you it was going to be a long video. Um, <laughs> leave a like down below, please. It doesn't really do anything for me, but it's really cool. I like uh, comments. I like comments more. So comment on this. Comment on um, what you think about what I've said. If you agree or if you disagree, post your opinions in the comments. I want this to have a big discussion. I really do like getting comments, though. That's like my favorite thing in the world. Um, <laughs> but I will see you all later.